today we're going to be looking at empowering girls into women of purpose. And you can only become a woman of purpose if you are totally prepared, okay? Totally. You could come here and learn your math and your English and your physics and your so on, but if you're not rounded, if you're not totally prepared, you could miss, you could miss some boats, yes? Okay, so I um, want to look today at, at, at manners and etiquette, social graces. Huh? Manners. Manners, that's very important, right? It's important if you, for example, are, have your, all your subjects and you go, uh, go to the workplace, you try to get an interview, and you go, first thing you walk into the manager's office, who is to interview you, and if you don't say hello or morning or so on, he probably will say or she probably will say, oh, no, you're not interviewing this person. So you would have lost the job even before the interview. So manners, that's very, very important. All of us have, I know we have, a, we have a plan as to where we want to go. And every bit of thing is important in that plan. Here, what you do at school is important, what you learn, and how you carry yourself, okay? Sometimes we don't know that we are not being well-mannered, you know. Like, I'm talking to, to us, and I'm saying, what's your name? And she doesn't want to answer me. And she shrugs. That is bad manners. That's bad manners. It's offensive. You offend someone. You diss people like that. Show appreciation to your mother. Tell her thanks when she gives you her lunch money. Your father. When they drop you at school. When the bus driver drops you off. Say thanks. It doesn't matter if they respond or not. You need to do that all the time to everybody who serves you. You have to always behave in a way that people get the best impression of you. And so the best thing is to try and use good manners every day in every situation. Yes,